so we watched that YouTube video. I'm just gonna try it right now. Just just to see if you guys can tell me how you how the corn sounds. Remember we ew. What? It's a little yucky on top. Yeah, that's what the knife was for. Oh. That goes on. Before I get go ahead and chuck it. I heard you read my chat, but didn't hear a reaction because I was caught hardcore coughing. Oh, I think you froze. Okay, let me know how you hear the truck in sound. Oh man, loud trucks. Yeah, it's loud, isn't it? Okay. How's that feel? How's that feel in your ears? Did you feel that? Did you hear it? I know. I'm being extra. Go do. I was gonna get those, but what do I? I break it off the end next, yes. right? Yeah. You gotta get right up on it. There you go. And then, and then I finish the thing. You gotta get the hair off. And then I can hear the shucking perfectly. Video is lagging from time to time. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Well, we're not shucking in front of the camera, though. Well, I mean, no, because the camera's aimed here. How come Corn has nicer hair than I do? <laughs> Good question. Here, let's bring this one up here for right now while we're shucking. There. Yeah. All right. That one is it. Yep, yep. Monsters eat my silk off of it. Mom's been doing this longer than me. I'm more upset that a vegetable can grow hair and I can't. Where'd you get the corn? The farmer's market back home. Do you know anyone specific? Who was it? Um, it was the Union Presbyterian Church had their setup. So I think it was a, probably Kathleen Pilkington's relative. Okay. The, the little hairs are important to get out because otherwise they get stuck in your teeth. Am I showing you up close enough? Yeah, there. The hair is called silk. You can use them as floss. I've got someone from the Quad Cities here. So when I said she sells a pillow, and he's like, oh yes, the windmills. And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> Followed one of those morning. You followed a windmill? Oh, the wind turbine. Yeah. So Munster ate a lot of the the silk off of these when we got here. West Point has Shuck Fest before the Sweet Corn Festival every year. 
Yeah, I was telling him about Shuckfest. I heard an uh oh. Or I see an uh oh. I don't know. I'm waiting. Patiently. Careful with money and corn husks can cause blockages. Oh, okay, thank you. I meant to Google it, but I was focused on setting this up. Thank you. I don't think he was eating the husks as much as he was eating he the- He was. Oh, never mind, he was. Far just, ahead. Just little nibbles. I'm just going to eat all this. There's going to be 13 years. This one's too short. Is this at the point I tell you I don't like corn? <laughs> no, not me. Oh. I was reading chat. I don't want to touch the gross. That's the problem. That's why I'm not good at cooking. I want to touch the gross? Yes. Yuck. The, 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 that one's yucky. This one? My father-in-law eats corn like a monster. Always seems like a lot of work to eat it. Yeah, but it only comes once a year. Yeah, that's true. It only comes once a year, so... Can you break this up or is it too short? Uh, we can cut it off. Okay. Haha, <laughs> Mama Bear was about to be like, I drove all this way? Yeah, I, was... <laughs> I thought, well, I can eat 13 years. <laughs> Wouldn't look good tomorrow, but... Did you remember the corn knobs? I do. Yes, I do. Wait, oops. Remember, I told you I paid eight dollars a dozen at that one place by Washington. This was only six. Oh, nice. Because they're like nine dollars a dozen here. And then. Some place outside of uh, old, I think. Sorry, they can come up too. Also, love the gorgeous curls run in the family. <laughs> Should I tell them it's a perm? <laughs> <laughs> I do have sun curls though. After menopause, my hair got curly. My dad has curly hair. Yeah. Dad's got a fro. Bomacle capitals. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, there's a whole husk. Yeah. That's why I always do it up off the counter. Oh, that makes Love that. What? I don't know. This is what Bowman probably oh, is the term. I broke some of the corns. See, this is where I get like the sensory issues. Well, the stickier it is, the sweeter it is, because that's. Sorry. Yeah, tell them all the tips they need to know. <laughs> well, this is going to be good because it is different colors of yellow and some white. So they, they call that peaches and cream. And it's very sweet. And it's nice and sticky, so the, the corn syrup in it, the sugars, are, are there's a lot of sugars. Let's see. How should we cook? Yucky. <laughs> you want me to do six? Sure. 
I don't know how many goes. <laughs> well, I don't, if you cook them up, I guess you can reheat them in the microwave. I don't want to eat them all. Well, because these will keep in the fridge for a few days. Without being cooked, you mean? Yes. Okay. Or I can cook them all, and then you can just wrap it in a paper towel and reheat it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Well, let's do six first. Yes. So we need water. Yes. Iowa. Also, will you ship some corn to Pittsburgh? Our farms haven't been doing too much doing too much corn the last few years. And and Skyline, we're in Iowa. Yes, yes, very much Iowa. This is why this is why I was like, you know, embracing the whole Midwestern thing. Maybe okay. Brace your ears. When I was a kid, we grew it and I went door to door selling it for $1 for 13 years. Baker's dozen. Baker's dozen, he, she said. I like how you were putting that in the trash, but you weren't. Well, I just. Okay, I, I didn't know if you realized that. No, I knew. I love it. I'm from Boston. This way. Never been out there? Well, it's not like there's a lot to choose from. You know, like, why is Mun not helping now? Very rude, sir. <laughs> He's sitting in, in my bedroom on the bed. Um, let's see. Chilling. Just chilling. You should be able to see both the corn pot and Munster now. Corn shucking? I thought it was going to be a corn holing. I feel lied to. <laughs> no corn hole here. If you look really close up in the top right corner, you can see the boy. Okay, so we also got cantaloupe because I can't pick out a cantaloupe myself at the store every time people are like well look for this thing and look for this thing and if it sounds like this and if it smells like this and it looks like this and i'm like what so uh i haven't gotten cantaloupe and then they had cantaloupe at the farmer's market same place same place as i got the corn oh and they have peaches i should have bought some peaches muscatine melons yeah is that a thing yes Yeah, none of the ones at Aldi look like that. Okay. None see of that? Them. Not any of them. Do you see that? Yeah, and I know that's, that's where, where you mean laying on the ground. That's where it laid on the ground. And it has good webbing all They've over. never been this color at Aldi. They're way tanner, and they're still fairly green. And if it's not green, it's, like, very light tan. Okay. If they have a stem on them, that's still good because the stem falls off as they mature. So, I mean, that means it'll keep for a while. This one's very, very sweet. It's going to be really good because um, it's going to be really ripe because you can smell it. Do you want to try one of the ones I have in the fridge? How old are they? Well, I guess maybe a year. Taking notes what? now. Not a year. I'm sorry. A week. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? I have one more non serrated. It's. In the dishwasher. Didn't you get a full set? This is a full set, but these are the only, this one and the other one in there are the only two non serrated. The other one is like a, I think like what you would call a lettuce cutter. It's like the short stumpy. That would be, um. Oh, just a year. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Here, you can do it instead. Put this firmly on the counter. Oh. That's all I need. This is the other one I have. Oh. I'm thinking of a paring knife. Yeah, I don't have any non serrated in our. That's all right. Unfortunate. That's all right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. 
Oops. Oh, wow. That was easy cut. Oh, make sure there's... There we go. Perfect. Look at that, y'all. I can smell it. Holy farts. You need smell vision Smell vision Do you have to stir the corn, but then I realize you no. don't stir the corn? No. Ooh. Mm. Oh wow. Here we make sure we can put two each. I'm good. I don't know. Go. Looks good, they said. It smells good. It looks like it it was two dollars. Two dollars. I'm so happy because I'm glad I never grabbed one from Aldi because I don't think it would have been all been like this. No, well, whenever you get from the grocery store, it's always got a few days of travel time on it, and these came right from the field that day that I bought them, which was yesterday. Oh, y'all, do you hear that? These came from the field the day before? Yesterday. The, th this came from the field yesterday. Yesterday. I like living where the food is. I'm thinking we could have made burgers. <laughs> what did you do? He just jumped into the Amazon box. Oh, I thought you dropped something. It was monster. My grand cat. Here he is. <laughs> hey, doofus. You guys probably can't see him at all. I'll try to tilt a little bit. Oh, he's like that. Yeah, I like cantaloupe. I like cantaloupe. Yes, hit it, boy. Without the right knife. Well, what's the right knife? The one I don't have? Yeah. Darn. Yeah, a paring knife would have been nice here, but I could have brought one, I guess, but I didn't cut it because I knew you had a knife set. Well, I didn't. I didn't know if those come with them. Like, I'm so, like, why do I have five steak knives? In? Because it's a set of steak knives. Actually, smaller. It's just hard because it's serrated. No, serrated is. Oh, oh this is. We got the boiling happening. If I come out of this with all my fingers. Yay! We're keeping fingers, guys. The goal is to keep fingers. Yep. And we need to boil that for a couple of minutes. And then it's done? And then it'll be done. Butter, salt, piece of bread. Um. Peel. Peel. Well, my bread went moldy, really. Not this one, though. L last loaf I got went moldy really fast, and someone said it might be because of the humidity. Yeah, it needs to be in the fridge. I mean, you don't need all of them. I just need a piece to butter. Hi, Trench. That's not soft. Well, I have soft butter, but I didn't know if we were going to do those stick butter or if we are going to do soft butter. Mm. Well, you can either roll it on the stick, or we can butter a piece of bread, whichever you Go, want. Mom. Go, Mom. Go, Mom. <laughs> Where, am I go Where am I going? <laughs> Kids today. Hey, you'd be surprised how many people are not my age in my stream. Not to say he's not still younger than you, because he is, but... 
but one time I think dad I came in the chat, or I think there was like someone was like, "I'm old," and they're in their forties, and then dad, oh and then dad came into the chat within a few minutes and was like, "Uh oh, dad's here." But then I think someone came in and beat dad. Well, when someone says forties, I always just think, "Well, that's cute." <laughs> um, yum, yum, yum. Mm-hmm. Money? Did you did you just squeak? Did you hear? That? I don't know. It might have been something outside. Oh, yeah, because he's going potty. So he usually doesn't squeak when he does that. Does anyone else walk in awkwardly on the cat and they're going to the bathroom and you're like, oh, man, I'm so sorry for violating your privacy. Okay, I just turned off the corn. 44 here. And here I thought I was old with my 30th coming up in October. I'm so old I don't even know how old. Mom says she doesn't even know how old she is. 34 here. But keeping track. Cats have no shame. <laughs> what you doing, Bobby? Sorry. I just, well, I just thought I would at least put myself in the frame a little. Okay, is the corn over done? I turned it off. Okay. So we'll drain it here. So in a you second. guys know the corn boiling over there. And it's done. I just need the to boils. Take it out of the water and butter it up. Never seen a cat after it fell in the tub. Cats have shame. <laughs> Yes, I've definitely seen videos of cats falling in the tub. Probably like money falling off the bed. Yes. Do we have a weather alert? But it's not hot. It's it's not supposed to storm, yeah. is it? Where's Quick Burn? Quick Burn's always quick with the like. I have people. Hey, what you cooking? Hi, mom, boss, lady. Corn on the cob and cantaloupe. That's We're doing much. lots of cooking. Not much cooking. Plenty. That was the joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, there, there's some chefs on Twitch that do full-blown meals. I'm sure. Do you guys like my shirt? Uh, maybe you look this way. Can you guys see her shirt? No, I, I can't look at the reaction. Moogus until after. Can you guys see it? I love your shirt, Mrs. Mom. <laughs> I'm hoping the eighth graders like it too. My mom my mom is a is a seventh and eighth grade teacher. Yeah, mom boss lady, my mom is here today. <laughs> yeah, this isn't me. She doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, no, I don't. Your mom is so cute. Thanks. Oh, that's so nice. I wish I were a teacher. No. Too old. Wait, what? I'm too old to teach? No, I think oh. that they think, but, but they're not old, so I don't know why they said that. Too old to start? Yeah, fair, I guess, maybe. But you, I you, started old. Yeah, my I mom. In my 40s when I started. When yeah. I went to, I started college in my 40s. My mom went to college when I was alive. When you were fairly old. Yeah, I was old. This isn't very soft, but... I'll just show them the different methods. Oh, well, I put that one back in. I'll get it back. I, well, I thought the different methods was a good idea. Good on you. That's amazing. Dang, that's dedication. What, going back to school at 40 to teach? <laughs> the people in my life told me it's too late to get into education, and Pennsylvania has cut funding a lot over the years. You don't want to go into teaching now. You don't want to go into teaching now, she said, and I agree with that anyway. There's too much that has to change that it's almost not even worth being educated with what 
educating you, not to mention the benefits and uh, going on. Okay, new mommy, got a question for you. My mom's not a new mommy, but if you mean the new mommy because mom boss lady is usually the only mom in the place, then sure. <laughs> <laughs> going back to school at all, you really got to want it. I'm 26 and thinking of going back makes me ill. I did it with two kids. Yeah, I was like... I was, uh, 2006? So I was at least 10. I, grad I started working in 2006. I went back before then. Um, I went back in 01. She went back in 01. Oh, right after Pappy? Yep. Did he influence? Nope. I uh, hurt my neck again, and they just said I have to change careers. Yeah. Okay. My mom was out nightclubbing an hour before I was born. She didn't know she was pregnant! Granted, UK, but yes. Goodness. Guys, 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 guys. This is what you eat your corn on the cob with. <laughs> Dang, Jen, mom is awesome. Baby Jenny can't touch hot corn. Well, it's more fun. Oh, baby Jordan was the same one. Ooh, you got the fancy handles. It's like fair food. <laughs> and that's like the drawing I made of Munster uh, when I did like a group drawing with. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm trying to get adjusted in. Baby Jenny can't touch hot corn. All the emotes. <laughs> what in tarnation is up with this new math method for elementary students? Looks to be for college students. I know I love math. Yeah, my mom's not a math teacher. She's an English teacher. You guys want to watch me eat my corn on the cob? <laughs> Okay, so there's two ways. There's two ways that you can butter your corn. My salt is up there. There's two ways that you can butter your corn, okay? So you can get your stick of butter or a salt shaker. I mean, that or that, like those two in my mouth. Well, that's a, so the grinder is a shaker, but not a shaker. Huh? That right there. Oh, that's salt. Oh, it's pink and lean. Huh? Or, 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 you take your piece of breaded, buttered bread, breaded butter. Yeah, put a lot of butter on that bread. Then you do the corn. So I'm going to do the bread method. The top camera is very hot, far behind, apparently. So... Get all that butter in there. Get all that butter in there. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> oh, yeah, the top camera is very far behind because it's still looking down. Well, you can use the sticks right there. No. Oh, I was going to put more butter on there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry if you said something in response. The mail calls. Okay, can we salt? If you use bread, you might be from Iowa. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why it's so behind. Okay, salt. Salt. I should have brought a watermelon. See if anybody uses sugar or who uses Who uses sugar and who uses salt for watermelon? Oh, yeah, you're right. Show them. Oh. Probably can see. 
a lot about her. We do a lot about her. This thing broke. Money. It's hot. Money. Hot. What a great way to use bread ends. Oh, I better spell the best I can and use my punctuation properly. <laughs> Book almost full says and Scott. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 weird. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay guys. Now do you do it like a typewriter or do you do circles? I do a typewriter. I do a combination. Yeah, my top camera is definitely behind. So. Mm. Worth it. Definitely. From that day on, we was always together. Jitty and me was like Did peas you guys hear and carrots. Corn sound by chance, just but just by chance. It's just slow mo, Jen. The top camera is the opportunity to admire the past. <laughs> I saw somebody on TikTok the other day make corn cob jelly. That doesn't sound good. Like after all the corn was cut off the cob, they boiled it down, boiled down the cobs because there's so much sugar in it. I made a jelly out of it. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, but using everything. That's fair. So delicious. Grandma used to cook me on her corn or freeze it. Mm -hmm. And she'd do like 300 quarts of corn. Just out of grandpa's garden. I can like when I think of shucking, I think of shucking at the old house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nommy nommy nom. <laughs> this is how you eat corn when it doesn't come out of a can. <laughs> or like mom boss lady said, I gum the heck out of my corn. Or the people who cut it off. Which okay. My grandma always cut it off, but also I liked to have it when it was cut off because like I liked the texture because like they would cut <laughs> off and they would stay together and it would be like like a whole like strip of corn, strip of corn connected to each other. I want another one. Is this weird? Is it weird? Is the sound all the way out? Are we still alive here? Oh, jelly. I thought she said chili. <laughs> corn chili. Corn cob chili. That was tasty. Corn, 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 corn. What's that smell? Corn, corn, corn. People said, why are you going to see Jenny? And I said, to take her corn. And they said, can't she get corn? <laughs> Hello, Seth. Welcome in. We're making corn. Well, we made corn. We made corn. And cut up some fresh cantaloupe. Oh, my God. Cantaloupe? Yeah. You want more corn? Yeah. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Is it weird? Is it weird you guys watching me eat corn on the cob? Of all the things I don't eat on stream at all? Yeah. 
What a choice. How do you feel about this? So you can take the butter method, butter method here. You go do 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 do. Or remember grandma's method. Do put it on the whole stick and roll it. Mm -hmm. Yes. She always had two sticks on a plate and you just roll your corn in it. Get all the butter. All the butter. butter. Hey, I'll be 58 next month. 56 next month. My hearing has been going on vacation. She's rivaling you though, Mom. Yeah, yeah I guess. I don't remember. Mom, Mom legitimately doesn't know how old she is. I'd have to count. I have to count for you every time too, but I don't have to count for myself. But yeah, yeah anyway. No. Only as old as you feel. Times I feel 12. They can hear us. Okay. Because I can hear this all. <clears throat> Working up a sweat in corn. I know, right? I told them about how you like can get barged and stuff on the way when we watch the rail cam and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nearly 59 and act nowhere near close to it. See, Mom? You're not old. Not the oldest. That I know of. That I know of. I tell my students I'm 84 uh, because then they tell me how good I look. And then their parents come in and say, they said you were 84. I told them you're not. They swear you are. That's funny. Because kids have no contact. Guys, I just did a whole row. I don't know how many of you are corn eaters, you know, how many, how far down the row can you go before you have to, you know, take a moment to chew. <laughs> don't mind me. Do you remember when you had braces and you couldn't eat yes. corn on the cob? <laughs> yes. You can't have corn on the cob when you have braces. Every single time, Twitch, when you say corn, I crave it more. <clears throat> Can't have corn on the cob because of bad front teeth. You do have to have quite some chompers for the front. Mm -hmm. Chew down. I'm not eating a third on stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, take a break. Where is the boy? Oh, I don't know where the boy is. I don't have any teeth, but I sure give one heck of a try. <laughs> My grandma doesn't have any teeth either. What do you think about creamed corn? I don't like creamed corn personally. Corn goes with just about anything. Yeah, it goes. We today today's menu is. Corn on the cob and cantaloupe. Plus my cerebral palsy makes it hard to control my mouth. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, Mark. Mark Mark is super cool. So Mark, he's in the UK. He has cerebral palsy, but he adapts toys for children with disabilities. So like toys that have a button maybe on the paw or on the ear and you have to have fine motor skills to push it, he adapts it, takes it apart, attaches a wire to like a larger button for them to be able to play it. Oh, that's cool. 
It's freaking awesome. And he that's does right. it on his stream. That's way cool. I, I just thought, I was like, holy frick, that's a genius idea. It is. I loved it more as a kid, but corn is just the best. True story. I can't tell you the last time I've actually had corn on the cob either. This lunch brought to you by the letter C. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I love cream corn. Blushing now. 